This is the second video on decimals. The first video covered significant figures in rounding. This video is about calculations, particularly non-calculator calculations involving decimals. Add, subtract, multiply, divide and the order of calculation. So here for example is an addition. So you want to add up these decimals, line them up according to place value, the units column, the tenths column, the hundreds column. So this says 9.6, we put in 9.60 just to match the other figures here in the hundreds column. You just add them up as a normal sum. 9 plus 7, 16, put down 6, carry 1, 3, 6 and 4 and the one you carried, etc. So a normal sum and you simply line up the decimal point. Same with subtraction. Line them up according to place value, units, tenths, hundreds, thousands. Here I put in a zero in the thousands column. Quite important because we're trying to say four subtracting from this zero. So we have to borrow from this eight, make it a seven, borrow the one in here and it'll become a ten. Some use the borrow payback method, which is if you make that a 10, giving that a 1 here, you pay back a 1 to that 6 here and make that 7. doesn't matter which method you use. It's simply a normal subtraction. 4 off 10 is 6. That had reduced the 8 to a 7, borrowing that 1. 6 off the 7, borrow off the 9 here to make that 14, so on. Line up the decimal points. So it's line them up. Contemplation value. Decimal point stays in the same position. So that's add and subtract. Multiplication here. Ignore the decimal point. Do 4, 5, 4, 7 times 6. 6, 7 is 42. Put down 2. Carry 4, etc. So that's a normal multiplication. And then what about the decimal point? The decimal point is 3 places in from the right. So you put 3 places in from the right in your answer. In other words, this number 4547 was a thousand times too big. So it had to be divided by a thousand to get 4.547. So you divide your answer by a thousand. So it's 4547 times 6. Ignoring the decimal point, put the decimal point in at the end. For a division, just carry out a normal division. 6 into 2, 0, carry 2, 6 into 27, 6, 4, 24, with 3 remainder. Carry the 3 over to join the 2 here at 32, etc. And keep the decimal point in the same position. So a normal division, just keep the decimal point in the same position. So add, subtract, keep the decimal point in the same position, line up the figures according to place value. Division, keep the decimal point in the same position. Multiplication, just put the decimal point in at the end. So that's add, subtract, multiply, divide decimals without a calculator. You should also be able to use multiples of 10 so if you multiply by 10, you shift the decimal point one place. By 100, you shift the decimal point two places. That's multiplying by 10 twice. Multiplying by 1,000, shift the decimal point three places. If you run out of figures, put in zeros. So you should be able to handle multiplying by 10, 100, 1,000 and so on, shifting the decimal point. And same in division. Divide by 10, shift the decimal point one place, in this case to the left. For 100, shift the decimal point two places. For 1,003 places, if you run out of figures, put in zeros. Here's 74, you should know the decimal point after the units here. So that's multiply and divide by multiples of 10. So where that's using calculations, if I wanted to multiply 3.12 by 4,000, what we do is multiply by thousands first and then before. So if I multiply 3.12 by 1,000, it shifts the decimal point three places. It becomes 3120 times 4. And then just a normal multiplication there. 4 zeros, 4 twos, 4 ones, 4 threes. So any working can be done at the side. But basically, if you want to multiply by something like 4,000, multiply by the 1,000 first, shifting the point, and then by the 4. Here's two decimals being multiplied, so that looks more awkward, but what you do is you simply ignore the decimal points and multiply the 312 here, 312 by 4, 312 times 4, and then put the decimal point in the correct place. So 
this number is multiplied by 10,000. Here it's multiplied by 1,000. It shifts the point four places and here three places. So all together we've shifted the point seven places. We do 312 times 4 and then we put the decimal point back seven places, four places and three places, seven places and it gives us this answer. So we know the decimal point at first. Look how many places the decimal point shifted to get rid of the decimal points that was multiplying by 10 four times and then by three times. So we shift it back seven places at the end. That is, you divide by 10 seven times. So here we multiply by 10 seven times. Here we divide by 10 seven times to balance it out. Division. Divide by four first and then by the thousand. So if you divide 3.12 by 4, you get 0 0.78, and then divide that by 1,000, that is shift the point three places, and there's the answer. So to divide by 4,000, divide by the 4 first, then the 1,000. Now notice when we multiplied, you multiplied by the 1,000 first, and then the 4. Here, you do the 4 first, then the 1,000, simply because it's easier. Here, if you want to divide these two decimals, the divisor, the thing you're dividing by, is a 0 0.004. Get rid of the decimal point and that number. So we shift the point three places. One, two, three. So we've got rid of the decimal point, the divisor. We've made that number a thousand times bigger. So to balance it, we make what we're dividing into a thousand times bigger. And that balances out. So point shifts three places here to be 31.2, divided by four. That's simply then carry out the division. Notice you don't need to put the decimal point back in any way. If I make what I'm dividing by a thousand times bigger, and I make what I'm dividing it into a thousand times bigger, I get the same answer. So that shift of the decimal point was compensated by this shifting. They balanced out. So that's, if you're dividing by a decimal, get rid of the decimal point in your divisor, the thing you're dividing by, by shifting the decimal point, and do the same to the number you're dividing it into. So that's multiplication and division by multiples of 10. If you click the link in the description, you can get access to this worksheet, which is taking some decimals, multiplying by multiples of 10. So here you'd multiply by 10 and then 2, multiply by 10 and then 3. They can always be done mentally. And same here with division. Here you would divide by 2 and then by 10, divide by 3 and then by 10. So we'll have the answers with them. So click the link in the description for that worksheet. Next is the order of calculation. You carry out any multiplication and division before you do any addition or subtraction. If you want to change that order, use brackets because you do what's in the brackets first. So here, you'd multiply 2.4 by 3 and then do the subtraction. So you do any working at the side. Here, you do the brackets first, so the subtraction in the brackets gets done, and then you multiply by 3. So that's the order of calculation. Multiply and divide if we add or subtract. However, to change that order, brackets are used, the brackets get done first. So here there's a multiplication, there's a division, they get done first before you subtract. So that's the multiplication, that's the division. Now you do the subtraction. Here, the brackets gets done first, you do that multiplication. That's 5.6 times 3 is the same as here, 16.8. Take off 13.2, get that answer, and divide by 3. So, multiplication and division done first, unless there's brackets, you do the brackets first. So that's the order of calculation. And click the link in the description, there's a worksheet on order of calculation.
up to 20 questions. I'll have the answers with them, including the st stage of the working where you carry out the multiplication of division first or the brackets first. So the PDF, if you click the link in the description, you get access to the PDF which has the worksheets from the previous videos all in the same PDF. There's rounding, decimal places, significant figures, and then there's that multiplication exercise with the answers and this order of calculation exercise with the answers from the same link you can get the notes on decimals first video was rounding this video is add and subtract order of calculation etc it's also got from a other videos and decimals, scientific notation, fractions, percentages, directed numbers. So they're all in the same PDF set of notes. Hope you found this video useful. Thank you.